to um, launching rockets and especially the simulators G-Force and the MAT. They enjoyed every second of it. Now, they have also said that this week was fun, amazing, and awesome. And simply, as they put it, space-tastic. <laughs> now, I can honestly say that each of these trainees is highly intelligent, has a great future ahead of them, whether it is, as some of them have planned, going to high school at the age of 13, <laughs> or um, simply being the best friend they can. <laughs> it's exciting. Woo! Sorry, anyway. But with that, I want each of them to know how awesome they are, and with that, we'll graduate. First, we have McKenna Dunbar from Fort Washington, Maryland, and she was our mission scientist. We have Jonah Emery from Clinton Township, Michigan. He was our station scientist. We have Matthew Hood from South Riding, Virginia. And he was our captain communicator. Um, if you could please pull the applause so we can recognize them together. Um, that would be awesome. Thank you. Um, next up we have Anthony Jones from Tacoma, Washington. He was our pilot. We have Johnson Lai from Taipei, Taiwan. He was our flight engineer one. We had Kyle Miller from Tome. Kyle Miller Tome from Milton, Wisconsin. He was our flight director. We had Haley Ram. She is from Winchester, Oregon. She was our mission specialist two one. We have Spencer Snowman from Bastion, Washington. He was our payload specialist two. We have David St. Pru from Chicago, Illinois. He was our communications and tracking officer. We have Robert Sylvester from Junior from Baronish, Illinois. He was our promotions officer. We have Bernard Thomas Crawford from Baltimore, Maryland. He was our commander. We have Marvin Thomas Crawford from Baltimore, Maryland. He was our flight engineer too. We have Liam Thornton from Long Beach, New York, and he was our station commander. We have Jared Zucker from Aspen, Colorado. He was our mission specialist too. Um, we'd also like to recognize Kathleen Dush and Brooke Schwartz, who had to leave early. And they were each um, a payload specialist one and our integrated communications officer. And with that, I give you Team Aldrin. Good morning, my name is Calvin Fritz and I had the pleasure of having the Metcalf team during the day. Our nighttime team leader was Samuel Andrews. Uh, we are named after Dottie Metcalf Lindenberger, which was mentioned earlier. She was the first Space Camp Academy person to, to go into space. So she graduated from here and went into space, the first one to do it. Uh, this team is one of the best I've ever had. They wanted me to say that, but I really mean it. <laughs> uh, we've had a great time this week. They really enjoyed everything that they did. They especially enjoyed the missions, and that's one of the things they wanted to make sure I told everyone. But they really enjoyed doing the missions, and they had a great time doing it. Uh, they also enjoyed all the other stuff, like the rides and stuff like that. But I think the mission is what they're going to take with them, and the teamwork they learned from. They are going to be great friends. I'm going to miss them all. And with that, I'm going to graduate Team Metcalf. And let me say one thing that I forgot. I'm going to ask you to join me in congratulating young people, and we'll get you guys, uh, Dr. Ahn and Dr. Moore. I'm starting with Kyron Anderson from Palmyra, Virginia. He was our station specialist, too. Joseph Bishop from Ringo, Georgia, was our mission specialist, one. Sergio Quadra. From San Diego, California was our station commander. Corinne Davis from Baldwin, Michigan was our mission specialist too. Maggie Davis from Marion, Iowa was our communications and tracking officer. Stephen Fisher from Huntington, North New York was our pilot. Seth Harrelson from Hudson, Wisconsin was our propulsions officer. Katie Hood from South Riding, Virginia was our integrated communications officer. 
Max Meyer from Memphis, Indiana, was our station scientist. Knut Reddick from Homewood, Illinois, was our uh, capsule communicator. And Frederick Tudes was our uh, mission scientist, and he's from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we also have three that left early, could not stay for graduation. Those are Joshua Kearns, uh, Gabby Reed, and Cody Sabaro. And uh, this is Team Metcalf. gave us wings to get around once we got there. This team was amazing. We had so much fun this week. They were very highly intelligent and they were very close-knit despite turning off on their team members for a new S-band during their EDMs. Um, it was a fantastic week and I think they have more than earned their wings. Joy Austin, Rockville, Virginia, pilot track. Haley Belts, St. Joseph, Michigan, mission specialist track. Sakshin Chaudhry, Rat Nagar Punjab, Mission Specialist Track. Kenji Golinlin, Southgate, Michigan, Pilot Track. Kimberly Howard, Springfield, Virginia, Pilot Track. Juan Lara, Guatemala City, Guatemala, Mission Specialist Track. Simrat Mundi, uh, Nagar Punjab, Mission Specialist Track. Christine Kabar, Park City, Maryland, uh, Pilot Track. Ian Rabago, Henderson, Nevada, Mission Specialist Track. Rupindor Singh, Rupnagar Punjab, Mission Specialist Track. Ranjit Singh, Rupnagar Punjab, Mission Specialist Track. And Franz Fortutis, Baltimore, Maryland, Mission Specialist Track. and I, with Jeremy Yanni in the back there, have the absolute privilege, privilege of leading the Marshall team this week. And our team is named after the George C. Marshall Space Flight Center here in Huntsville, Alabama. And um, this graduation is a really good example of what we like to say here at Space Camp, which is, it's for ages 9 through 99. We have Space Camp here 9, Academy there, upper age, and we have a high school to the back. Jeremy and I had the pleasure of leading the bigger kids this week. Uh, the more, you know, upper range of that age range from 9 to 99. And they were nonetheless excited about everything we had to teach them here and everything that they had to do. So, just like through here, you guys learned so much about teamwork, about technology, and you apply these concepts to all your missions during your six hour mission. And all throughout that time, you became really good friends. I know I'm really going to miss you. I know Jeremy is going to miss you as well. And I also know you're going to wear your rings proudly after you leave here today. With that, I would like to graduate the Marshall team. First, we have Reagan Brandon from Marietta, Georgia. She was pilot track. Dennis Crowley from Fairfax, Virginia, mission specialist track. Brittany Hagen from Cerritos, California, pilot track. Norman Hearns from Detroit, Michigan, mission specialist track. Hannah Kane from Brooklyn, New York, mission specialist track. Simranjit Kaur from India, she was pilot track. Bruce McCallum from Boston Lake, Kentucky, pilot track. Euro Michelli from Arlington, Virginia, pilot track. Arpan Patel from New York, New York, pilot track. Russell Pink from Woodbridge, New York, mission specialist track. Kim Sisk from LaGrange, Georgia, mission specialist track. Laurel Tyre from Sarkanak Lake, New York, mission specialist track. Natalie Urias from Monterey Park, California, mission specialist track. And we would also like to recognize two teammates that had to leave earlier, Keith Dubigan and Gene Weir. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Marshall team. Oh, you guys, y'all are the Marshall team, right? It's a, it's a unique thing here. We're always delighted to have these guys with us in the fall, and uh, it's part of what makes uh, 
fall a lot of fun around here. Um, we're going to go ahead now, since we graduated them as a team, we're going to give out a few awards and uh, we'll give you a little bit of a description about what the awards are for. Um, the first award we're going to give is for Mission Patch. And as uh, Dr. Moran and Dr. Onion discussed with the teams earlier, and they well know, uh, Mission Patches have been designed since the beginning of the Manned Space Program. It's, a, it's, it's less about artistic artwork and more about being able to describe your mission, your team, what the, all the contributions that come together, what the objective is. And every team here does that. And this week, the Mission Patch winner, and let me see if I've got it here. Are you ready? A little drum roll on the legs. Is Team Aldrin. Come on down, guys. Helping me with awards is uh, one of our assistant managers, Kevin Biddle. We call him Speedo. Y'all can ask him why later. Nicely done, Team Aldrin. And what we'll do, we'll scan their mission patch and put it on spacecamp.com and they'll be able to go there in a few weeks and print it to their heart's content, and autograph it for their friends and neighbors and uh, anybody that'll give them five bucks. So congratulations, Team Aldrin. Have a seat. Thank you. All right, our next award is for best mission. And during your missions, guys, do you know you guys were getting graded even though you weren't at school this week? Did you all know that? We've been watching you on professionalism, communication, how many Darth Vader noises we heard, how many of you guys left the mission specialist in space. Come on, you know you did it, show hands. <laughs> it's okay, we go about five times a day, we'll pick them up next trip, no problem. So the best mission this week goes to Team Metcalf. Nicely done, Team Metcalf. Congratulations. All right, next award is for uh, Area 51, and this is uh, of our, for our advanced programs. And they go, they split into smaller teams, and they compete. It's not really competing. It's actually team building, and you amass points. But it's uh, our high ropes and low ropes course, and the whole thing is about communication and teamwork. Sometimes that communication is nonverbal and you still have to get through with the objective. And uh, this week's winner for Area 51 is from, obviously, the Von, T Von Tiesenhausen team, and it's the Daredevils. <laughs> They're a subdued bunch. Come on down, Daredevils. Do you remember who you are? <laughs> they climb a 35-foot pole and jump off. They climb a wall tethered together and zip line down, or they do the giant's ladder, and they do lots of low, low ropes activities as well that are just strictly about communication and teamwork. So congratulations, Daredevils. Well done. Okay, we have this same award for our adult team, team members, and uh, they again do just like the younger, younger campers, trainees. They break into smaller groups. And the Area 51 uh, winning team for the Marshall team is TLC. They're not quite geriatric, but they are slow moving. <laughs> Congratulations, TLC. Well done. If you've never treated yourself to a ropes course experience, you really ought to do that. You leave feeling like you can absolutely do anything in the world. The next award is for the Advanced Academy program, which is our high school program. And it's an engineering challenge. And they spend all week working in teams, uh, doing several engineering uh, challenges to amass points throughout the week. Uh, they build bridges, they do all kinds of engineering competitions, and then they also have to present what, the, what it is that they've done. 
And for the engineering challenge, it is from the Von T team because that's our advanced team. And it is team just hanging with the cool kids. <laughs> Congratulations, just hanging with the cool kids. Nicely done. Oh, that's an all-girl team. All right, our next uh, awards are for Space Bowl, which is our quiz bowl. It's sort of like a Jeopardy competition. They take everything they've learned and they wager, not money, just points, um, and they compete. And it usually comes down to the very last question. And for the Space Camp team, and we broke these down into smaller groups as well so they could compete, it's uh, Team Beelines. A little bit of the, oh, come on. Nicely done, Team B Lines. All right, for the Academy program from the Metcalf team is Team, little drum roll on the legs, Orion. Good job. Brains, brawn, and beauty all on the same team. All right, and from, let's see, from Advanced Academy Program in Space Bowl, and I'm sure I'm gonna mispronounce, they named their own team, so forgive me if I botch this one. It is uh, Team Syzygy. Okay, and I'll say that they're all male. I like it when they compliment me on my enunciation, pronunciation. Very well done, 